my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to get Windows 7 to boot with the number lock key automatically on. Now Windows used to do this, but when Windows 7 came out, they kind of messed with the settings a little bit and disabled this. The fix is pretty simple, but what we're going to do is edit a registry key. So be very careful while you're doing this. If you mess up the registry in your computer, it can cause system instability and you might be looking at reinstalling Windows. So just take your time and be really careful when we do this. All right, the first thing to do is fire up regedit. So we're going to hold down the Windows key, push R for run, and you want to type in regedit for registry editor and say OK. And the next thing that we want to do is I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller so we can see the bottom. I'm going to perform a search, so file, or excuse me, edit, find. And we want initial keyboard indicators. So you want to type that into the, to the key. We're going to say find next and it will bring you to uh, HK users default control panel keyboard and so this initial keyboard indicators is what will be turned on when your computer boots and so the initial indicators that come up you can set it to scroll lock or caps lock or whatever you'll notice that it's got a very long series of numbers here underneath data and that's not good that's just kind of garbage really if you want the number lock to be on you need to set this to two so right click on it and say modify and instead of this value data here we're going to delete everything but the two and say OK and there you go now you just close out of regedit and you can restart your computer and when it boots back up the number lock key will be on I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to get the number lock key to come on when you boot Windows I'm Josiah Ray